fun. Just keep coming. Just keep coming. And right. then you get a day like this, and it's like, this is what it's always yeah. like. 365. Cool. See Just what like happens this. when you hang out one extra day? <laughs> uh, yeah, not a bad day at all. Mm. A lot of folks uh, really out and enjoying. Uh, and I'll tell you what, we have a lot of changes that are coming because things don't typically linger long here. So the warm air is here, just isn't going to stick around too long yet. Let's take a look at what we are expecting for the next few hours. A lot of cloud cover. We're going to see those clouds thicken. Eventually, rain and rumbles of thunder are going to be moving into greater Cleveland. Temperatures dipping back into the 50s past the midnight hour. We do have some thunderstorms, though, to talk about right now. And these thunderstorms have been bubbling up over the last two hours. 15 minute lightning count is up to 38 just here on this view that you see. There is a severe thunderstorm warning out in Seneca County. That's uh, not one of our counties that we cover, but we certainly do cover for our friends in Stark County where we have a good old gully washer that is moving through. This will continue to move northward. We're getting some heavier rain right now on the west end of Stark County. So uh, from Dalton over in Wayne County toward Massillon and Brewster down. Uh, well, it's not. It's just all north of Wilmot at this point, but moving right up into Jackson Township. Heads up for our friends in Lake Township, the Hartville area. You are going to be receiving some of this heavy rain as it's moving through. The city of Canton will be getting heavy rain, as well as Louisville. Minerva's getting the rain and rumbles right now, but this is going to head up toward the Alliance area as it continues to lift north towards Deerfield. Uh, and then farther south, good old-fashioned heavy rain coming down in the Carrollton area. That, too, will be moving up uh, toward the Youngstown area as we go over the next uh, couple hours or so. But I want to back this out and go west because we do have these little showers and storms that are west of us. And if we track this particular storm that is in Seneca County uh, that was producing some wind gusts over 58 miles per hour and the possibility of one inch hail or greater, and we track it up toward the Sandusky area, if this thing holds together, we're talking about Bellevue, Christie, 647, 656 in Groton, Margareta at 704, Sandusky at 713, and Huron just to the east of Sandusky at 720. So just a headlight, uh, headline for those folks up there to heads up uh, that you may have some rumbly weather that's coming. That's just the beginning. We are anticipating more of these showers and storms to fire, especially west later this evening. But 7 p.m., 8, 9, we're going to see this round of rumbly weather start to fade and move northeastward as more showers and storms develop on a cold front that will be settling into the area tonight. So you can see rain and rumbles. This is midnight. And then they kind of fizzle as overnight cooling starts to take place. And the cold front that popped all of that up is shifting southward. So we'll have some showers to begin the day tomorrow morning. That front, though, will come back north late Wednesday, and that's when things start to get interesting. So 60s for your day tomorrow, morning showers giving way to that possibility of some sun peaks, and we'll have a north wind to begin. But Wednesday night, a warm front is coming. That same cold front that went south is coming north as a warm front because it's going to be pushed by a big shot of energy that moves northeast and triggers a pretty potent storm system. The severe weather threat tonight is all south, but if we fast forward to Thursday, you can see things start to split and we get our chance for severe weather coming in on Thursday, especially especially in the evening with a two out of five threat from the storm prediction already there. So the storm itself tomorrow morning is going to be well south of us, but the warm front lifts north with heavy rain Wednesday night and Thursday morning. We'll see the temperatures bump up Thursday and then that shot of energy comes in and you can see some bright colors. So we are anticipating strong to severe storms, especially later in the day on Thursday. The impacts heavy rain big time heavy rain, but also high wind, maybe some hail. Can't rule out tornadoes, but at this point that looks like it's going to be pretty minimal. And as of right now, it's still two days away. Just plan ahead for rain and stay weather aware. It's pretty easy, right? Here's your Union Home Mortgage forecast. You can see the temperature bump that comes in on Thursday. And then the drop that gets here Friday. So showers, breezy, cooler on Friday. Nice recovery, though, for the weekend in your Union Home Mortgage forecast. And then early next week, upper 60s, low 70s. My goodness, it kind of feels like spring has sprung. <laughs> we'll be right back with sports.